everybody, I'm Tara from Crooked Row, and behind me is Elijah from Crooked Row. <laughs> and today, we are digging up potatoes. This is actually our spring garden. Elijah's going back through our spring garden to see if there's any potatoes that we missed. And then we have a fall garden too. We got a little bit of a haul, not a huge one. Sometimes I wonder if it's because I'm not a part of those plantings. So I think we, we, we didn't get that much, that many potatoes, but we got enough. And so um, we're going to work on digging those out and then um, we'll come back and show you what we got as a kind of a second round through here. And then we'll talk about potatoes afterwards. Okay, so we dug up the potatoes. You don't get fresher than this, by the way. <laughs> um, this is fresh from the ground. And so with our dinner tonight, I am going to go ahead and make different types of mashed potatoes because we know that one of the reasons why we do mashed potatoes is for the holidays. And with Thanksgiving right around the corner, I want to try different flavors. I wanna do um, roasted garlic mashed potatoes. I wanna do um, cheesy mashed potatoes. And I'm going to do, oh, I forget the other one, but I'll let you know when I'm inside. Um, but so we have our potatoes. Let's get started in the kitchen. Okay, so I chopped up all those potatoes. Well, you saw me peel them and now I've chopped them up. They're in water and I'm just gonna bring these to a boil and wait until they get really soft and I'll show you that in a minute. While the potatoes are going, I'm gonna go ahead and start roasting a whole garlic bulb and I'm just gonna wrap it up into this foil and stick it into a 450 degree oven for at least 20 minutes. You can press on the individual cloves to see if they're nice and soft, but while your potatoes are going, go ahead and get that started. Okay, now when you wanna check your potatoes, stab it with a fork, and if you can do this, if you can do this, it's done. Let's drain it and take it to the mixer. For just regular mashed potatoes, this is a lot of mashed potatoes, so I'm gonna add a stick of butter, and then you wanna put in your very, very hot mashed potatoes. So I'm going to add that. Okay. I do not mix mine a whole, whole lot. I only do what I have to do. So I'm gonna get some of the lump. Even if it's kind of lumpy, I'm not worried about that. As long as the lumps taste good. If you over mix it, they become gumpy. Gumpy. <laughs> they become gummy. Add as much milk as you want. Some people like thick mashed potatoes. Some people like thin mashed potatoes. I just keep eyeballing it. Okay, you have to add plenty of salt to mashed potatoes. And I like plenty of pepper. So salt and pepper to your taste. I hate saying how much salt or pepper to use because everyone's taste is so different. Um, so these are just for normal butter, milk, mashed potatoes, nothing fancy yet. Crack in some black pepper. We like pepper. Okay. Just a little bit, just enough to combine. And this is looking absolutely gorgeous. 
Okay, in this pan I have about three tablespoons of butter and some chopped sage. If you don't have sage, um, I, we ha our sage is still fresh out in the garden right now. If you don't have this, you can use dried. Don't use near as much. I mean, I would use half this much. So I used about 10 leaves. So I might, if you have dried, I might use, dried is so strong, maybe a half a teaspoon in this. And I am just going to turn the heat on and melt that butter and get that to mingle. I am also going to add a teaspoon of minced onions. And while that's coming up, I'm going to go ahead and take the roasted garlic for the other mashed potatoes and squeeze that out. Okay, I have a bazillion things going on this cutting board, but I am pulling apart the roasted garlic. And because this is a tiny bowl, I am only going to add three cloves in this bowl and then I'll taste it. Okay, let me taste it. Elijah, come here and taste it. Let's see if we need more garlic. Do we need more garlic? Oh no. Is that perfect? Mm -hmm. Like you would want to eat that for dinner. I feel like it needs to be a little bit less garlicky, <gasps> but that's been done already. <laughs> so it can't it can't really be changed. Okay. But it's good. Okay. It's still it's still good to eat. That means it's time to move on to the next one. Okay, so for this one, we have sage in this butter with some minced uh, dehydrated onions. And I only put in enough butter to just, <clears throat> you know, kind of meld the onions and the sage together. And I'm gonna add this right to the bowl. Okay, <clears throat> so here we have the sage. I'm not gonna add all of it. I'm just gonna add some. I mean, you do want it to taste like it's flavored. So, let's see if this is enough. Okay, so here, we're back to my KitchenAid bowl. Um, and this I'm going to add, if this was a normal full thing, I would do two cups of the cheesy kind. I'm sorry, <laughs> then the um, shredded, extra sharp cheddar and and I might go with white next time if I don't want a color to it and um, I would use a cup of this Parmesan cheese so I would use two cups of cheddar a sharp cheddar and then a cup of the Parmesan to make cheesy mashed potatoes okay so I got some more Parmesan and some more equal parts of cheddar cheese. And I'm gonna go ahead and add that. I know that some people like to add cream cheese to it, but I feel like it changes the texture in the mashed potatoes and I don't care for it. Um, but feel free to, it will definitely add like some more cheesiness to it and some saltiness. Okay guys, so I've made several different mashed potatoes and these are the cheesy ones. Taste it and see what, what you think. Mmm, these are good. Mm. Can you taste that they're cheesy? Um, A little bit. Mm -hmm. Not too I mean, we already know mashed potatoes are already good, right? Yeah. yeah so. It's all good. I, I didn't taste very much cheesiness though. Okay, so let's do the next one. Okay. So here's round two. This is the sage. Actually, it's not just sage. It's minced onion and a little bit of butter. So tell me what you think about. You could add other herbs and stuff into it, but go ahead, taste it. This one, mm -hmm. it's like sausage, like sausage and uh, what is it? It kind of reminds you of Thanksgiving, doesn't right. it? Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Did you guys like that? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. The, the sage is a nice touch to it. Okay. Let's try the roasted garlic. Okay. So here are the garlic mashed potatoes. Roasted garlic. 
from our garden. <laughs> It's really strong in garlic, though. I, I, I agree with less. I agree with Salo. I think it's good. I don't think the garlic is too strong. Um, I actually think it could be maybe slightly stronger. That's what I thought. Um, but Elijah said I went overboard. And I think Elijah. I think, I think the <laughs> potatoes, both the ones with the sage and the garlic, that is both. I think would go great with the turkey. Okay, now I have a surprise one that I didn't plan on doing. And that is where I mixed the sage onion one with the roasted garlic. Uh -huh. I didn't put tons of roasted garlic in it, so let's see how that goes. Okay, so let's try the one that has everything in it. <laughs> Almost everything. That's a lot better. You and like I that? I still taste the garlic in it, too. Mm -hmm. It's still really good. Yeah, yeah, that's good. We should have this for Hanukkah. You like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you mean Thanksgiving? Yeah. I mean Thanksgiving. Yeah. You like you guys like that one the best? Oh, yeah, yeah, that one. Is good. it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Well, there you have it. So we have the actually I did four different kinds and I think an amalgamation of all of them is going to be the best one for our Thanksgiving this year. Uh try to Put it in the comments below what you eat and what is your favorite. I mean, I personally love plain mashed potatoes with an awesome turkey gravy. I just love that for Thanksgiving. I wait for it all year. Um, I don't eat the, that ever in the year, so it's really nice to have. But I have to admit that the sage is a really, really good one uh, to put into your mashed potatoes. Sage butter is just delicious. So remember, if we can harvest our potatoes and then make great mashed potatoes for Thanksgiving, anybody can. Thanks. Bye.